Stories of mermaids have been featured in legends across cultures. Eyewitnesses have had a fair share of these sightings, but with variations. These stories have been around since the 11th century, and it's hard to let go so quickly. In this video, we explore 10 real-life mermaid sightings from history. All that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. Dearness Mermaid Although there have been many sightings of mermaids in Orkney, the Dearness Mermaid is by far the most famous. Eyewitnesses say she used to show herself to visitors to Newark Bay with little or no fear of being identified. This apparition started as a rumor, but after more people narrated similar stories, it was taken seriously. There are no accurate details about the appearance of the Dearness Mermaid because she swam a distance from the shore. One eyewitness with the closest view of the creature had a few details about her. He had said that she was seven feet long and had a dark black head on her shoulders. The skin on her torso, however, was a deep pale white, and she had long arms that she used to swim in a waving motion. She slid up and down the rocks before disappearing back into the water. Because of this mermaid, people wanted to visit Orkney. Sightings like these are better witnessed than told, and British children have told the story of the Dearness Mermaid of Orkney for ages. Some pupils are made to draw pictures of the mermaid during basic art lessons. On several occasions, teachers told the stories to the kids, too, to help them get a better view of the creature. After the stories, they were expected to draw the mermaid. Scotland has a fair share of mermaid sightings worldwide, and they're pretty proud of it. Number 9. Akata Bay Mermaid Mermaids are not attractive creatures in Japanese history. These creatures vary in appearance, with some having menacing horns and pointy teeth. They're also believed to have mystical abilities. Today, strange bones are displayed at the Ryuguji Temple in Fukuoka. Here's how the bones got there. Legends say on April 14, 1222, a mermaid washed ashore in Hakata Bay on the Japanese island of Kyushu. After a shaman declared that mermaids were a good omen for the nation, the bones were buried at the Ukimido Temple, which people called the Ryugajo. Many who heard about the sighting believe that the Japanese fishermen at the time may have confused dugongs with mermaids. The dugong is a large sea animal living in warm coastal waters. They travel alone or in pairs and can stay underwater for up to six minutes. The bones in this temple could be that of these sea mammals. If one washed ashore in 1222, it's fair to imagine that the locals may have confused both creatures. Between 1772 and 1781, the bones in the temple were removed from their resting places and visitors bathed with the waters used to wash the bones. It's believed that the ritual would protect them from epidemics. Today, six bones are in the temple and only seen by appointment. When asked if the bones are genuinely from mermaids, officials say it's better to keep a legend a legend. Number 8. Hebridean Mermaid Many who were alive in the 19th century believed the story of the Hebridean Mermaid more than we do now. In 1830, crowders were cutting seaweed at, editor, please put in the name of this place, I do not know how to pronounce it, near Grimness on the west coast of the island of Benbecula when something strange happened. One woman saw a strange creature several yards away, looking like a miniature woman. She called on others, especially the men in the water, to help catch the beast, but they failed. However, a boy who also saw her aimed a rock at her and threw it at her. Ended on her back, but she disappeared rather than dropped dead or half-conscious. A few days later, a creature washed up dead on the beach at Cullen Bay near Nunton. One eyewitness said its upper part resembled a child of three or four years with abnormally developed breasts. Her hair was long, dark, and shiny, while her skin was tender and soft. As the crowd gathered to see the strange sighting, they agreed it was a mermaid because it fit the description they had heard from legends. When the news got to the sheriff, he ordered that the body be put in a coffin and buried in a churchyard. The funeral was one of the most attended events on the island. You can guess that the crowd came to see things for themselves. Mermaid stories attract thousands of visitors to the location, and this is not an exception. Number 7. New Zealand Mermaid New Zealand found itself in the well of mermaid stories when in 2014, a crew of fishermen claimed to have seen the remains of a mermaid on South Island. The men were worried that they might have seen the body of a murder victim. However, their thoughts were countered after they moved closer to see something different. Obviously, the skeleton was not that of a human, so it left room for speculation. They immediately alerted the authorities who intervened in the situation. The body resembled a human-like creature with aquatic features. The discovery soon spread across New Zealand, with everyone searching the literature to know more about mermaids. Since authorities didn't know what to make of this creature, the University of Auckland was brought to explain what the fishermen found. Conspiracy theorists didn't wait for the results of the investigation to conclude that the sighting was a real-life mermaid, though. Others claimed it was likely a dead seal because the East Coast had a large colony of gray seals. They could have overlooked the body and rushed to bury it had they not heard countless stories of mermaids washed ashore. Number 6. Mermaid from Kiryatyam 
Tourists and locals have continued to flock to the Israeli town of Kiryat Yam, hoping to catch a glimpse of the creature believed to be a mermaid. It's said that the marine creature resembles a young girl and a fish and appears only at sunset. During her brief appearance, she performs for onlookers before disappearing into the water. One of the first people to see the mermaid said he was with friends when he saw her weirdly lying on the sand. He felt she was a sunbather, but she ran into the water and disappeared when he came closer. He and his friends were amazed because she had a tail. He didn't make much of this sighting until more people became interested in it. The town's tourism board was more excited about this discovery. They took advantage of the fame by offering a $1 million reward for the first person to photograph the creature. Of course, this led to more traffic to the site, with everyone hoping to be the lucky one. Some say the mermaid does not exist, while others say it's simply an optical illusion. The money's gonna go unclaimed if no one finds the evidence the government is looking for. It's unclear what people might be seeing because some sea animals can be confused with extraterrestrial beings. Dozens of mermaid claims worldwide, but most are myths and legends. All these reports are rampant, no proof other than an actual story. Number 5. The Orangutan. 1943 was the peak of World War II. At the time, everybody was invested in the war, and little or no attention was paid to unimportant things. However, mermaids seized the opportunity to operate and gather all the attention necessary. During this intense period, the world recorded the most well-documented mermaid sightings. On the Kai Islands of Indonesia, Japanese soldiers set up a surveillance team to monitor events around the territory. At the time, members of the surveillance team reported seeing a small humanoid figure in the water with spines on its neck and head. The figure was often seen playing in the lagoons near the beach. The Japanese soldiers were shocked by this sight, but after speaking to the natives, they confirmed it was normal. In fact, they called it Orangakan, or human fish. As sightings continued, the indigenous people invited Mr. Taro, a sergeant with the group, to see what they had captured in their fishing nets. When he got to the scene, he saw one of those creatures lying on the floor. He confirmed it had red-brown hair, spines on its neck, and a humanoid face with a lipless and fish-like mouth. He was confused and asked zoologists to investigate the creature after the war. Of course, the world paid no attention to his claims because they believed it was a case of misidentification. Even if it wasn't, there was a war and saving lives was far more important. Number 4. Bering Sea Mermaids Henry Hudson was exploring the cold waters of Norway in 1608 when he encountered the most memorable day in his life. With his pen in his hand, he wrote about his encounter in detail. He narrated how his crew saw a group of mermaids. They first saw one, but she quickly called her other sisters. He described the women as big with long hair and white skin. When he looked at the rest of their bodies, they resembled dolphins, but with the spotting of a mackerel. After hearing about them in several tales, he was excited to see this marine dweller. Like many sailors at the time, people assumed that Hudson's story was another case of misunderstanding. He may have simply mistaken one animal for another. Hudson's case is bizarre because there's no manatees in the Bering Sea in Norway, and even if there were, seasoned sailors like Hudson would not be one to make such a silly mistake. Maybe he saw something strange in the realm of science and didn't know the best way to tell the story. Better still, he might be making the story up to fill his journal. The big question remains, are there mermaids in the cold Arctic waters? If there are, have you encountered one? Probably not. Either way, on to our unknown topic. Countless tales of strange marine creatures stealing humans and disappearing afterwards. Might want to be careful when you next visit Zimbabwe, though. Number 3. Mermaid of Zimbabwe you want to hear stories of real-life mermaids caught on camera, Zimbabwe is the perfect place. Locals have narrated cases where these marine creatures appeared from the water to steal people and disappeared right afterward. One famous mermaid encounter happened some years ago. It involved two boys tending to their cattle by the riverbank. As they did their job, they saw a creature that looked like an odd fish. They were too curious to let it slide, so they moved closer to see what it was. Their friend who was with them beckoned on them to return to their animals, but they wanted to see the animal quickly and return to the job. Just as they got too close, a mermaid snatched them and took them deep into the water. Their friend was scared and ran home to call their parents or any other adult. Thankfully, he found his parents and other adults who accompanied him to the river. Upon getting there, the boys were lifeless at the bank of the water. But while the adults ran towards them, a strange-looking creature emerged from the water and snatched the boys a second time. While the other child told them about this strange creature, no one believed him until they saw the things for themselves. The mermaid succeeded in drowning the boys until they had died. This event is one of the many cases in the country where drowning is associated with fish like humans. Number 2. Columbus and Caribbean Mermaids Christopher Columbus is famously known for encountering mermaids on his numerous voyages near Hispaniola. He wrote in his ship's log that he and his crew met three mermaids while on the island. He said the creatures were frolicking in the water, and when his ship drew closer, they rose out of the water. 
They weren't as beautiful as in the stories he had read to his dismay. He realized they were mannish and undesirable, unlike what the pictures had painted. It's believed that Columbus and his waterlogged crew saw a group of manatees, but this may be false given that Columbus was a seasoned sailor. He'd have a decent knowledge of marine animals too well to confuse one for the other, unless he was really drunk or something. Manatees are slow-moving aquatic animals with bulbous faces and human-like eyes. They may have evolved from an ancestor they share with elephants. Adults measure 10 to 12 feet long and weigh between 800 to 1,200 pounds. These plant eaters have slow metabolism and survive in warm water only. Number one. Active Pass Mermaid British Columbia became the home of mermaid sightings in 1967. Ferry riders found the strange creature lounging on the shore of Maine Island. The blonde woman was topless and had the tail of a porpoise. Some witnesses were shocked after claiming they saw the mermaid eating a salmon on the beach. After the first sighting by ferry passengers, this strange creature was seen one more time the following week. The locals were shocked by her appearance and wanted to know more about her. They started to dig deeper into the findings. Because of the popularity of this story, Charles White from the Undersea Gardens financed a $25,000 reward for anyone that captures the mermaid. Pretty odd, but the company was desperate to prove its existence. Those who didn't see the mermaid believed the story was a charade. Maybe it was a deliberate story told to make Maine Island famous. There's actually photos supporting this sighting, and even the Times Colonist newspaper reported the incident. A copy of the publication is available, and none of the passengers are available to comment about the mermaid. See you all next time!